Hi there, welcome back. I was just thinking a few days ago, when I was a child, we had to heat water with firewood in a massive cauldron in my granny's house and mix it with cold water and then have a bath. Today, we have water heaters. It does the same job in a fraction of time with little to no effort. You can still heat firewood, of course, to warm your water, but honestly, it's a waste of time. Accepting change was overall beneficial. Now, coming back to today. For the longest time, you had to scroll the internet for CV examples, cover letter examples, write your own, and then apply for jobs. That was the traditional way. And then AI changed everything. The question is, are you welcome to the AI changes and using them in your job search? Or are you still stuck in your old ways? Because like it or not, AI has made applying for jobs a whole lot easier. And if you aren't using it, you're losing out. But don't worry, if you don't know where to start, I've got your back. In today's video, I'll be breaking down how you can use AI to land that job. I'll also be sharing how to create the perfect CV and the perfect cover letter using AI and a whole lot of logic. I'm Ashika and on this channel, we talk about moving across the world for that dream job or to study. Drop me a comment if you have any questions and with that, Let's dive in. We're going to be using the example of ChatGPT today. There's also a Google bud that you can consider. Now, you can either head over to ChatGPT and write your own query or use websites that help you with your queries. You have to be really careful with the prompts that you use on ChatGPT because the answers you get will depend on the questions you ask. So if you ask questions that aren't comprehensive, the answers you get will be the same. Now. For today, let's take the example of a senior social media manager at Elf Cosmetics. What a lot of experts advise is to use role prompting instead of a single command because it gives you better results. So try this. You are an expert resume writer working with job seekers to land a role in marketing. Highlight the three most important job responsibilities in this job description. Now, of course, replace this with the industry you are looking at and the job description that you are interested in. It will pull out the main responsibilities of this role and that's great. Now, let's use this to create our resume. Head back to ChatGPT and use this prompt. Based on these job responsibilities, create a resume for me to help me apply for the role of a senior social media manager at Elf Cosmetics. I do not currently work at Elf Cosmetics. It's important to mention this. Don't make up any information and here is my resume. And here we have what ChatGPT has thrown up, but we're not done. Next, you'll have to be careful to check if there are any factual changes that have been made to your CV. So type, list out the differences between my original resume and the resume you drafted in a two-table format, with one column for the original and another column for the updated. Be specific, less down what was changed down to the exact words. Now you'll have to be really careful here to check what has been changed because the slightest embellishment is all right, but changing factual information really isn't. Like for instance, here it says speaker at seminars versus being invited to a seminar. It's not the same and it's not okay to lie. Now remember in all of our previous videos, I've mentioned that it is super important for you to tailor your resume. And the reason is that, so you're able to communicate to the recruiter what they want to hear versus what you want to tell them. Please remember that the recruiter is looking to hire the best person for that role. The recruiter is not looking to hire you. So naturally, they don't want to know everything about you. They want to know why someone or pretty much anyone is the best fit for the role that they're hiring for. So making your resume about you is pointless. Instead, it needs to address the job that you are looking for and applying to and the requirements of that job. When you tailor your resume using the points I just mentioned, you are speaking the same language as your recruiter. You are telling them not why you are an amazing social media manager, but why you are the best social media manager for that role because you understand the requirements of the job and the points in your resume mention how you've dealt with similar challenges in the past. Now, the next thing for you to do is to use ChatGPT to fine tune the bullet points in your resume. Use this prompt. You are an expert resume writer working with job seekers to land a role in marketing. Here's a bullet point I have in my resume. No action needed for now. Please respond with yes if you understand. And here's the bullet point. Developed and implemented a multi-channel marketing plan leading to a significant 68% increase in annual consumer memberships. Now as the next step, rewrite this bullet point using the following structure. I accomplished X as measured by Y by doing Z, which I've discussed in my previous videos is a structure that Google came up with for resumes to effectively and clearly show what value can be derived by a person. And then follow that up with an example. 
I increased website traffic by 20% by driving relevant viewers from social media by creating engaging content. Now, if you feel it's too long, ask it to keep the bullet points under 50 words. What this is doing is rewording your resume to very clearly show value that you bring to the table and what amount of value you can be expected to show. And the best way to show this is not through a four page resume where you go on about yourself. It is through KPIs or metrics or numbers representing what you've achieved. Now, in case you're worried that your numbers aren't fancy enough, please remember that they don't always need to be. A 10% increase in sales at your organization may be way higher than 30% somewhere else. And the recruiter is aware of this. What they want to be assured of is that you are someone who measures yourself against everything that you do. But if you aren't sure what the metrics for your role are, there are ways you can figure it out. You could look at how your current job measures your performance. Most larger roles and companies have performance reviews. You can check the criteria there. Or you can ask ChatGPT to help you figure out what the metrics are for your role. Use the same prompt from earlier. You are an expert resume writer with over 15 years experience working with job seekers to land a role in marketing. Here's a bullet point I have in my resume. No need for any action. Respond with yes if you understand. This is the bullet point. Leading all social media for the company to increase engagement and brand awareness. Now, to figure out how to measure success for this, write out this prompt. I don't know how success should be measured. Please provide suggestions on how I can add quantifiable and measurable metrics for this bullet point. And there you go. Now, please remember, it is important to shorten the points or else you'll end up with a horribly long CV that no one's going to read. Now, before I move ahead, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Now, if you're looking to create a cover letter, once again, please go to the extent of making the effort to tailor it to the job that you're applying for. I understand it's not always possible for every single job, but at least for the ones that are really important to you and for the ones that are a perfect fit for you. And you should ideally be tracking your jobs. A simple Excel sheet like this should just suffice. For every 10 jobs that you apply, please remember that not more than three to four of them will be perfect. For those three to four jobs, I'm sure you can make the effort. Now, once again, we're using a multi-prompt approach over here. Let's use this prompt. Based on this job description, what is the biggest challenge someone in this position would face on a daily basis? Now, what this response gives you is the problem that this company is facing. So you need to alter your cover letter to present yourself as someone who has a solution or someone who is the solution. You need to incorporate this into your cover letter. So use this prompt. You are currently working as a social media manager at Samsung and you're applying for the role of a senior social media manager at Elf Beauty. Write an attention grabbing hook for your cover letter that highlights your experience and your qualifications so you can successfully take on the challenges of the social media manager role. Also include examples of how you've addressed challenges in the past and keep the hook within 100 words. Now, once again, like you can see, it's too long. So what we're going to do is take the key points from here and incorporate it into our cover letter. So now let's use this. You are writing a cover letter for the role of a senior social media manager. And here's what you have so far and attach what you already just got. Create a cover letter incorporating this based on my resume and keep it within 150 words. This is the job description and add the job description here. And this is my resume and add your resume here. Now, based on the response I get, I will check if I want to use the hook that ChatGPT had created earlier. And of course, clean it up, fine tune it. Then if required, I would incorporate the cover letter ChatGPT just created while addressing the main challenge we had spoken about earlier using metrics to make my final cover letter. Or if you feel the cover letter that ChatGPT just threw up is good enough, you can make the changes to that too directly. And the brilliant part about it is that it tells the recruiter that you've made the effort to read the entire job description and understand what exactly they're looking for. And then using your past experience, you're sharing how you can help overcome challenges. I would suggest you read everything and fine tune it because it has some mistakes like you can see, but they can easily be fixed. Also remember to fix the language so it sounds like something you would have written because AI tools like ChatGPT give you a base that you should ideally be building upon using your own style of writing. And you're sorted. I hope this drastically helps you in the process of landing that job. I will also cover how you can prep for interview questions, what questions you should expect and a lot more in the following videos. Drop me a comment if you have any questions or if this video helped, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.